We're getting ready to get to the show. It's in there getting ready to go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Kansas City Zoo, our California sea lion exhibit, and sea lion lab. My name is Jordan. I'm over here at the Orange. I'll be your host today. Today we will be watching a natural behavior training session put on by our two sea lions, Sunshine and Delilah. Now, Delilah is over closest to the door. She just got some eye drops. That's Delilah. And Sunshine is opposite me. She's giving a wave for everyone right now. That is Sunshine. A California sea lion can be found in the Pacific Ocean, from Mexico all the way up to Canada. In fact, Sunshine and Delilah were rescued off the California coast in June 2010 by the Marine Mammal Center and we have been raising the girls ever since. Like babies, raising sea lion pups is a lot of work. We had to teach them many things that they would have learned in the wild from their mother. Our first task is to teach them how to drink a special fish formula from a bottle. We even had to teach them how to swim. And after a few months, they were ready to start eating their favorite food, which is fish. One of the things we are teaching them now is behavior. As you can see, they're doing a great job and they're learning more and more every day. Now there is another marine mammal that lives in the same area and is often confused with sea lions. That is, of course, the seal. So let's learn some differences between seals and sea lions. Let's see if our sea lions can actually help us learn. The first difference between the two is their ears, and they're both showing you their external ear flaps. While seals, they just have small holes that lead to their inner ears. The second difference is how they move on land. Let's see how a sea lion moves. They move on all fours. They can rotate those back flippers and run on them. Let's see a seal impression now. Let's see how a seal moves across the land. That's sunshine and the best seal impression. Seals have to inch along on the ground with their belly. Now the last difference is how they move through the water. Seals use their rear flippers to move through the water, while sea lions can use their front flippers, as both Sunshine and Delilah are showing you. When swimming, sea lions can hold their breath for over 10 minutes. Wow. They can dive 900 feet into the water. They can cruise up to speeds of 25 miles per hour. They do this with a technique called porpoising, which Sunshine is showing you right now. Porpoising is taking a series of small jumps in and out of the water. They also do this to break up the eyesight of predators. The natural predators of sea lions are killer whales and sharks. And there is Sunny's best shark impression. <laughs> the average lifespan of a sea lion is 25 years. And our sea lions have something that sea lions in the wild do not have, and that is an excellent veterinary staff. Our sea lions actually keep themselves healthy by participating in their own health care. They are trained to present various parts of their body, allowing us to look over their mouth, their back, their flippers, and their stomachs. We are even training the girls to do more complex medical behaviors, including eye drops, blood draws, injections, and even radiographs. Now some of you may be wondering, how we train behavior like this. Here at the Kansas City Zoo, we use a method called positive reinforcement. And you can actually watch it in action right now. This means we ask them to do a behavior. If they do it correctly, they get a reward, which in this case is tasty fish. You'll 
you'll notice I said we ask them to do some behavior. We don't tell them to do it. They always have the option to participate or not. Let's see Sunshine's ball jump. There she goes. Great job, Sunshine. Not only do we train medical behaviors, we also are training fun behaviors that are extensions of natural behaviors in the wild. Sea lions are incredibly smart animals. And training new behaviors is a great way to keep them mentally stimulated. Training is also important for education. Here at the zoo, we take educating our guests on conservation very seriously. Now, you don't have to be a zookeeper to participate in conservation. A great thing that you can do at home is recycle. For many reasons, trash ends up in our open ocean. And marine life, including sea lions, can come entangle or ingest some of the trash. Another great way to help is with our fish consumption. There are certain types of fish that are taken from the wild using harmful techniques. And other fish species are being fished to extinction. This means there are only as many fish to eat for our sea lions and our sharks and our killer whales in the open ocean. Over here I have handy seafood wash cards. They're little pocket guides that you can take with you to the grocery store or supermarket. And it tells you which fish are environmentally friendly. Well, it looks like our sea lions are going to continue training for a few more minutes. If you have any questions for our keepers, I ask that you wait until they've exited the pool so they can focus on the sea lions. Otherwise, I'm over here. My name is Jordan. I can answer any of your questions. I can give you a sneaky watch card. I want to thank our Midwest four dealers for making this splash possible. Thank you for coming to Kansas City Zoo and enjoy the rest of your beautiful day. Thank you. I was in the kitchen with you with this. Perfect, Ryan right caught the fish. Oh, where it went. <laughs> 